Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, March 30th, and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable, seroundtable.com over the past week. First up, Google announced they are beginning to roll out the mobile-first indexing process. So instead of crawling the web as a desktop browser would crawl the web and index it based on that information, it would actually now crawl the web as a mobile browser. A smartphone, Android phone, iPhone would look at the web um, and index it in the mobile-friendly version of it. Truth is, few have noticed it. Actually, I don't even think it started rolling out yet. Um, so basically, um, Google will send notifications. These are the notifications when it actually happens. Those notifications might be delayed. Um, John Mueller said it's probably going to be delayed a little bit. Um, Google also released the best practices on how mobile first indexing works. Um, it is a global, multilingual rollout, so it's going to happen internationally. And it's going to happen to a bunch of sites that are ready for mobile-first indexing. It's not going to happen to every site. It's only sites that are ready. We're not sure exactly how many sites are ready, but they actually did test it with a bunch of number of sites in the past. And now they're actually pushing out to a bunch of new sites. It's probably a nice lar large number of sites because they actually announced that it's rolling out. But most aren't seeing it yet. I'm looking at many, many sites. I've been testing it. Nobody got the notifications yet. And I've been looking and testing a lot of sites that would be mobile friendly, that would be one of the first to actually go ahead and uh, um, you know, move over to this. And I haven't seen it yet. Um, so we'll see what happens. But in short, your site, make sure your site's ready for the mobile first index. There's lots of first indexing. There's lots of documentation around this and keep an eye out on it. Um, Google may have done an algorithm update on March 23rd around that time frame or so. Lots of people are talking about it, lots of chatter, um, lots of signs, a lot of people saying maybe it's related to the core update. People said maybe it's related to the mobile first indexing release, but it's not related to that, that's for sure, because the mobile first indexing probably still hasn't even been pushed out officially even today, in my opinion. Um, and then, so check, check your rankings around then. Uh, but then we're seeing a March 28th update also possibly, maybe a tweak to the March 23rd. We're not exactly sure, so definitely take a look. There's lots of things going on with the Google algorithm this past week, March 23rd, March 28th, the mobile first indexing uh, rollout, et cetera, et cetera. So keep an eye on that. Um, and again, Google said they are unrelated. So the mobile first indexing and any of those algorithm updates you're seeing are unrelated because the mobile first indexing probably hasn't pushed out yet or it has pushed out maybe today, tomorrow, we'll see. So keep an eye on that and make sure your rankings are good. Um, some people are complaining that their URLs, their new URLs are not being indexed as fast as they used to. John Mueller from Google said nothing has changed, everything is working as normal. Um, he said um, everything is going well. Um, so this is the people reporting that there are issues and then John Mueller um, um, said, we don't index all content. Everything is normal. You know, if your new if your new URL is not being indexed, and maybe not, re, you know, may not have may have crawling issues or may have quality issues. And then I asked John Mueller about that as well, and he said he actually did look into it uh, for a bunch of URLs, and he saw nothing is new. In fact, he said they're actually crawling a bit faster now. I suspect because of the mobile first indexing release. Um, and it's all as normal. Nothing is going on. He said everything is normal. So if you are having those issues, I definitely recommend you reach out to John Mueller on Google Plus or on Twitter and show him some more evidence of that. John Mueller also said on a Reddit thread that Google doesn't have a reset button for a site that's penalized or spamming. Um, we said this before, when you dig a hole, it's hard to like, you start at this level and then you dig a hole, you're down to here, and then you have to go up to here to get back to the level playing field. When you spam and penalize, sometimes it is easier to actually go ahead and uh, to go ahead and actually start anew. And that's what John Mueller is saying. Sometimes it makes sense if you're spamming and you're penalized so hard that it makes make sense to just start a new website. Of course, it depends on a lot of things. And John, and John Mueller and Google have been saying this for a while. Even Matt Cutts has said this um, in the past as well. Um, Google said they do need to go ahead and post documentation about how search works with A-B testing and multivariate testing. Um, but he did list a bunch of guidelines in Reddit. He said, um, treat Googlebot the same as you would treat any user with the A-B test. You shouldn't special case Googlebot. That would be considered cloaking. Sometimes it do does mean that Googlebot falls into one specific uh, bucket, like showing only California stuff or user agent. The pages should be equivalent, so you shouldn't go ahead and have A-B testing with a Disney page versus a, I don't know, flower, uh, I don't know, por a pornography page or pills page, like spam versus, you know, car you know rated G stuff. If you have separate URLs, make sure to canonicalize those URLs. And Googlebot does not store or replay cookies, so make sure you have a fallback for those who don't have cookies. Um, Bing Ads, whoops, Bing Ads has launched in more intelligent search features, specifically around multi-source 
uh, featured snippets or what they're calling answers. Um, so multi-sources, you can see over here, multi-sources from different sources, you get information there. They added this new hover over feature for uh, more complex words. And they upgraded their image search zoom feature, um, search object detection feature to have more fashion related stuff. And then they talked about how Intel's helping them with their deep learning machine processing features with their hardware services. So it's pretty cool. Take a look at that. Google added lyrics, uh, inline translation for lyrics. Um, this was uh, actually announced by Anita, uh, a popular uh, pop star in um, Brazil. Um, and you can see here's a, a screenshot of how it works. You could translate this inline stuff into your language, so it's pretty cool. Definitely take a look at that. Um, Google is testing expandable site links with snippets. Um, let me show you a screenshot of that as this loads. So you can see here, you got your your you know your search result, and then you have your your site links, and then there's like little snippets that describe what's within the site link, which is nice to have. Google is showing summaries on top stories. I don't think this is new, but people are saying it's new. But I'm pretty sure I've seen this for a while. Uh, and what you'll see is that you'll get this top stories section with top stories, and then a, a summary of what's this these top stories are about. Same here top story, description of what it's about, and then the top stories and the carousel and so forth. Um, I think that's new, but I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. Google announced that their partner search feature is going away. Google's um, sunsetting a bunch of partner search, uh, part, Google partner features. Uh, specifically, um, they're getting rid of uh, partner search, so this feature to let people actually search for Google partners, like AdWords people, analytics people, that's going away. Um, oops, Insights. It's going away, and also lead management is going away within the Google Partner Search feature. So those three features are going away within the Google Partner Portal. Google has officially announced the Keyword Planner tool uh, within the new AdWords experience. We covered that before, but Google is actually announcing it now. So if you ever use the Google Keyword Planner, it has a new look and feel. It looks like the new uh, AdWords experience. Um, Google has emailed AdSense and other partners um, across analytics and DoubleClick and um, a bunch of other uh, platforms that people are using with their responsibilities around GDPR, uh, the uh, General Data Protection Regulations in the EU. Again, this is a massive undertaking. Um, it starts it lands May 25th. It affects everybody almost, almost every single business, uh, almost every single business. And anybody in, who's watching this probably has AdSense or has some type of AdWords or some type of Google product they're running. And Google's really putting the blame and the responsibility on you, of course. You're probably not going to get sued. It's probably Google that's going to get sued first, but we'll see how it happens, and you should definitely be aware of how GDPR affects you, so definitely take a look at that. Uh, Google has launched a new smart answer or one-box answer called air quality or air pollution. They're, it looks like they're teaming up with a company called Breezometer. Uh, what's interesting is that, <clears throat> so you do like a search for air pollution in a certain city or just air pollution, it will geotarget to you, and it'll give you that air pollution. So Beijing usually has bad you know, air quality, as you see here, but it seems to be a little bit off because then it's like you keep searching for the same thing and then it shows you a different uh, result. Maybe Google's tweaking it. They haven't announced it, so maybe it's still kind of in beta. Um, Google Post is testing a new UI user interface for creating posts in Google Posts. I love Google Posts. I use them a lot for my business. Um, not that I get much traffic from it, but basically the new UI looks like this. What's new events and offers with a lot of customizations. And the old one just had these like buttons at the bottom here. Um, so it's definitely different there. In any event, um, the last thing you want to do is obviously um, acknowledge and honor certain people in the search community. So the search community honored this week, Nancy McDonald, Rob Busey, Bar Toes, I can't, I'll try, Goralowitz, sorry, <laughs> um, Topher Cohen and Alexis Sanders. I'll click on Bortes because I can't pronounce his name, so hopefully um, you guys can read it and figure it out. But anyway, these are people who have all demonstrated sharing and giving and contributing to the industry above and beyond others. So thank you guys for all what you've guys done in over the past years and so forth. And we look forward to more contributions. The search community honors you. In any event, thanks so much for listening to the Search Buzz Video Recap. My name again is Barry Schwartz and the search news we covered over the past week at seroundtable.com. Today again is March 30th. Wishing everybody a happy Easter and a happy Passover, and I'll see you guys. Well, next week I'll be offline Friday, so I may schedule the video and schedule some posts, but I'll be offline for Passover again next Friday. But everyone have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next. Bye.